Happy Friday Year 2. So today you're going to use the story map that you did yesterday. So here's one here. You might have a different version. And you're going to write your own Lighthouse Keeper story today. Now remember yesterday we talked about how there needs to be a problem in the story and you need to solve the problem. Now it doesn't matter if you have a similar problem to the actual book or you might have a different idea. Whatever it is, I'd like you to have a go at retelling your own Lighthouse Keeper story. Now remember when you tell a story it's really important to set the scene. So you need to talk about where the story is happening. So at the beginning of the Lighthouse Keeper book, there's a little bit about where it is. Now you did a bit of this at the beginning of the week. You described the different parts of this picture. So today I'd like you to set the scene at the beginning of your story. So you could do something like this. Perched up high on the craggy rock sat a small white cottage that looked over the deep blue sea. This is where Mr. and Mrs. Grinling lived. Now you don't have to do the same. Use your own ideas, but this is an example of what you could do to set the scene. So really importantly, when you tell a story, you need to follow a sequence. So the next sequence to this picture could be what happens next. So it could be something like, Every day, Mr. Grinlin would row his wooden boat across the lapping waves to the tall, beautiful lighthouse that had the brightest light you ever did see. So here, we are talking about the next thing that happens, and we're also describing the scene again, where he is going. Okay. So as you're writing your story, remember to keep looking at your story maps. And then you need to think about the problem, okay? What is going to happen? So you're following that sequence, so make sure it's in the right order. So you're going to think about what the problem was, and you could do something like, but one day something extraordinary happened. So then you would talk about what the problem is or how it happened. And when you do this, you need to build it up. So you need to add the detail, and the description. And then the last bit of the story is to solve the problem. Remember to think about your solution. How is it going to work? Now, be careful you don't rush this part because sometimes when we're writing, we just want to get to the end really quickly. So remember when you're trying to solve your problem and you find the solution, to still add some detail and description. So get creative and remember to think about the sequence of your story. So have fun and I look forward to reading some of them. Take care you two. Bye.